Hello YouTube, welcome to my life. Today I'm gonna try and do a foam roller, not quite wet set. I am actually starting with dry hair. I'm just gonna dampen it with the Suavecita setting spray. I also have their little foam rollers. I have a lot of hair and I don't have very many of these. So we're gonna try and do a Lauren Bacall inspired look today. So I've taken a comb like this, nice parting edge. Tried to do a nice crisp line. I think it looks really nice with this kind of thing. I've also got a Denman brush. It is slightly wet because I just washed it. Now my hair is uncurlable. It is very coarse and thick and frizzy. And I haven't had much luck with anything holding in the past. So we're gonna try this and then I'm gonna see you for the brush out tomorrow and see how it went. <laughs> All right, I'm thinking we're gonna start in the front. Now I've got about one inch size rollers, so we're gonna go with about one inch size curls. Yeah, <laughs> makes sense, right? So I'm just gonna part down how far I want the curls to go, and then we know what kind of section we're working with. So if you can see that, we're just going down to the ear here, clipping that, and this is going to take a lot of spray. Don't be shy. Now this one is pretty scented, so if you don't like scented products, this might not be the right setting spray for you. I am going to try and do a curl set with natural Josh Rosebrook products, so I'm pretty excited to try that. I really hope that works out, but we got to be using the toxic stuff first. Okay, so I have some different lengths through here, so we're going to take longer bits and roll them like so. Okay, so we're taking about a one inch section. We want about the size of the roller. This might be a little too big. <laughs> and then I'm brushing through. And the ends are apparently very important. So we're gonna make sure that they are wrapped around as good as they can, because that's gonna cause frizz if they're not. It's not the end of the world, I mean. We're not all experts, so. I'm definitely not an expert. I'm just a girl who wants curls. So you notice I snapped that off and now I'm just putting it on at the end because if you try to work with it on, you're going to have a bad time. Just letting you know now. And I'm just going to continue that as we go down. Try and keep those ends tucked. They might want to escape like mine are right now. got the top and the front all done. She has two uh, rows of curls, Lauren Bacall's hair does, and I think I got this side a little bit wrong, but that's okay. <laughs> Just trying. And so I am out of rollers. So we're gonna turn to, um, I guess they're called pin curls. I'm gonna do two finger pin curls because I have really thick hair and we really, I just want it tucked in. And then we're gonna clip it with uh, double prongs. Ooh, this is a big one. Okay. I'm a bit lazy at this point. I've been working on this for a while. Hopefully I sped it up and edited it down for you. But I've been here a while. 
Oh, it takes me like, we should check half an hour maybe to do this. I would say use more setting spray than you think you need. So I've got two fingers in there, rolling it up. I should have even, I could have soaked this more, but. And that's probably going to do about a two inch curl. If you want to do one finger, that'll give you smaller, tighter curls. That'll look really nice. My hair doesn't seem to want to do one finger because it's so thick and obnoxious and annoying. <laughs> I'm going to tell you not to be afraid to retry it and redo and re-roll, but honestly this is just in the back, so I'm just going to pin it and call it a day. <laughs> okay, so I've just attempted to pin curl my hair, which I'm not going to show because I'm not an expert and I'm still practicing, um, but then I've just tied it up try and keep everything as smooth and secure hopefully while I sleep tonight as we can. See you for the brush out tomorrow. Good morning YouTube, we're at day two and I'm gonna do the brush out and the first things first, we're gonna take these rollers out. This is kind of what we're left with. It's not my best brush out I've ever done. I wasn't super careful about the ends yesterday. Like I said, you should always be. Make sure those ends are tucked or it's gonna be really annoying the next morning to brush them out. So I've got some pins in to hold little waves that I saw coming and this little curl, it makes me happy. <laughs> we're gonna take some Josh Roseberg hairspray. And just let that settle. And again on this side. I just forgot that. I also have some Suavecita pomade. We were using the setting spray yesterday. It has the same scent. It's fairly potent. <laughs> so if you don't love scents, you won't love that. But it kind of smells like something I got in my childhood, like it's very girly, young girly smelling. So it brings up some nostalgia for sure. Okay, so that's it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Some uh, recommendations to remember. Ends tucked, small sections. I need to buy more foam rollers. Uh, setting spray if you have Thick hair like me is a godsend for the uncurlable and hairspray and just be patient and it doesn't have to be perfect so thanks so much for watching Take hi care. YouTube this video is honestly a bit of a fail but I slept in foam rollers so it's going up anyway <laughs> please enjoy